Hi guys, so it's Nancy here and I'm back with day 5 and 6 of my December daily. And again, because I've got the photos printed, I'm going to work, be working on this as a complete spread. I have printed my photos out and they are two photo collages. Again, I've just made that using my PicFrame app on my iPhone. And I am printing all my photos at home this year. Um, I print the majority of my photos um, at home anyway. And it's just making it easier um, to kind of choose how I want to um, display them. And so I'm just taking various bits and pieces of paper that I had on my desk that I picked out in the last layout. Um, I'm mounting my photos on some of the um, magical um, one from the American Crafts one from last year. I've also pulled off um, the sticker here from the American Crafts collection. Um, I think it's called Merry and Bright, and that's from this year. That came in the Chamel kit. And I'm just looking here at um, the embellishments I'm going to add to each of these pages. And as I said, I really like um, how, you know, I'm kind of like adding everything together and just can pull out lots of different bits and pieces to um, add to this page. And I really like how the consistency of my numbers is coming through. I have mounted um, both pictures with a little bit of this red paper. Um, I'm then going to cut a little bit out, um, off each to add on to the journaling block ones because again that's just going to add a little bit of consistency across um, these pages. <clears throat> um, I realise that bright green tree is not necessarily in with the colours that I was using but um, as that was the day that I did decorate a Christmas tree I thought you know, it was a good excuse to use it. I'm still using up some scraps of that glitter paper, and so I'm adding some of that to that top photo cluster. <coughs> um, that joy to the world is this punched out of um, that Heidi Swap Christmas paper, and I'm pulling some of the wood veneers from the Chamel um, box, which they were American Crafts. I'm just um, inking everything in that rich cocoa again. I'm using my ATG to stick everything down. Um, I am just using the rest of the glossy accents that I have. Um, that bottle is coming to an end. I have had it quite a while, so um, I'm probably not going to buy another one at this point because I just don't like how it gets blocked all the time. So just again inking up um, where these photos are going to go. Um, that piece of paper there that I'm going to stick down the side has lots of little candy canes on, so that's quite sweet. Sweet, get it? Huh, I'm so funny. Um, <laughs> I'm just using this offcut to sort of half mount that photo on. And said so again, that is a photo cluster. And that Traditions um, was from the um, LA Studio um, Good Cheer. And that was a 12 by 12 colour part sheet, which included some of um, the little bits that you used to get on the kind of cut apart sheets you used to get. Um, but this time it was on 12x12 12 because 12, they're now doing 12x12 12 12 paper. So I'm just going to pop that tree down. Of course I'm using my corner rounder to round all the corners um, to get them to work together nicely. And I'm just using this stamping up um, roller stamp and that was just some Christmas lights. And I really like um, how that looks. So this was um, the photo for Saturday. It's a tradition when I go around and help my aunt decorate her house. Um, she has just angel decorations on her tree. She has well over 250 and um, she had two trees this year because we had so many and it started when I was a lot younger as a child. Um, I would find angels. She couldn't find an angel to go on top of her Christmas tree. So um, I started buying a selection of angels and sending them to her in the post, like auditioning them, auditioning them to go on top of the tree. And it then became a tradition, it's now a family tradition, that we just buy angels wherever we go. And so she's got ones from lots of different holidays, lots of different places where the family have gone. And every year I go around and help her decorate the tree. Um, also on that Saturday, um, it was kind of like the first sort of frosty morning. I had to scrape ice off my car, so I took a photo of that. Um, I also done um, some Christmas cards because I went to a crop that day. So I wanted to include a picture of those. 
I probably would, in would include somewhere else some Christmas cards. Um, I do want to show on one of these videos what I'm using my Spectrum Noirs. A couple of people have um, asked, you know, if I would do a Spectrum Noir kind of colouring video, and I quite like the idea of doing that. So, if that is something that appeals to anyone else, then do let me know, and that will just probably prompt me to do it a bit sooner rather than later. Uh, this photo is from the Friday, and again, it's a photo sort of cluster here, and there was lots of treats at work. So, and there's a picture of some chocolate truffles and some chocolate cakes that I was given. Um, there's me just in my wig of the day. Um, then I had some cheese straws made at work, um, which is like you know a cheese and pastry. Um, treat and then I started a new book which I really got into so I want to just include that and I'm just using the stamps that came with the Chamel kit and just using those to stamp on these layouts and I really like that. I love that um, rekindle Christmas magic one um, I think that's a really nice um, sentiment so now I'm kind of happy with how everything is looking I'm just going to start adding some sort of final touches. I'm just getting my Christmas stamp out here and that's just to put the date on each of the cards and said so even though I have the numbers I just wanted to use that um, date stamp because I think it kind of is going to work well and so I'm just doing my journaling here and it's basically saying what I told you and I'm really liking this part of this project and it's again what I enjoyed in Project Life is I kind of do the journaling straight away. It doesn't have to be a literacy, you know, literally masterpiece. It's just kind of talking about the day. Um, but I enjoyed that I'm getting little snapshots um, of that. And I said that's what I really like when I look back through my um, my Project Life album from 2013. And I'm looking forward to doing that again next year. As I said I am liking that I've now kind of found out, found a huge stash of sort of ledger paper and things and that's going to make it easier for me to do my journaling. I'm not overly fussed about journaling pens but I do have this brown um, zig pen and so I'm going to be using that for all of my journaling because it's just going to help tie everything in together. So that is it for this video, I said it is quite a quick one. Um, I'm just going to show you these cards and so you can see them close up and that is it. I will be back with some more videos soon so thank you very much guys, bye!